All right, to get us started, we're going to be looking at central angles and arc measure today in their relationship. So an angle, or central angle, is defined as an angle with a vertex in the center of the circle where the sides are radii of the circle. So as you look over here on the right, there's lots of different examples, but as one example, you could call R and S that angle right there, a central angle. Similarly, like VMT is a central angle. Notice how they're all meeting there at the center, M. Okay, so then to keep in mind that will help us out this unit is that the sum of the measures of the central angle in a circle, think about how many degrees there are in a circle. So if I went all the way around on the inside, what's the total gonna be there is 360. That's helpful because they'll also talk about things that are half of that. So half of the diameter will be 180. So as they take a look here and they say, what's the measure of angle RMS plus the measure of angle SMT plus the measure of angle TMV plus the measure of angle VMR. So if you add up all the central angles in a circle, they add up to 360. Okay, an arc measure is a part of the circumference of a circle. So on this one, hey, like we could look at this and say like, hey, one of the arcs is PQ. And we'll talk more about it in the next one, but there's things called like the minor versus the major arc. This is called a minor because it's smaller than 180, but you could also go around the other way. But often they'll give you another like point over here, like C, and they'll call it PCQ, so you know which direction you're going. Okay, the big idea for today's lesson is that there's this relationship. So the relationship is as follows. The degree measure of an arc is equal to the measure of a central angle that the, it intercepts the arc. So as we look over here on the right, they're saying, hey, this arc, which they've labeled AB, the measure of that arc AB is 60 degrees but so is that angle on the middle. So, so is the measure of angle AQB is also 60. And we're gonna use that for most of today's lesson. And then we'll use some applications of it. So let's take a look at our two examples. Here they have this arc is labeled as 70 and they want us to find that indicated central angle. So these are equal to each other. So this is also 70 degrees. Over here, they're looking for the central angle that has a question mark. So let's look at the arc that relates to it. So as we go out, the arc that relates to it corresponds with 100. So that central angle will also be 100 degrees. So notice this 160 over here, we 